Now I'm delighted to say we are joined live by New Zealand all-rounder Daryl Mitchell. Daryl, many thanks for your time. Um, it's a heck of a busy time coming up uh, for the Black Caps. You've you've got eight Test matches in in the next three months. Um, you often don't play that many in a year. It's uh, exciting times for the Test squad. Yeah, look for us Test cricket. It's, it's very special to a lot of us, and chance firstly to play. I think it's well five Test matches now in the subcontinent, and um, obviously then England at home for three. It's um yeah, it's an exciting time for us to playing different conditions all around the world and keep trying to win games of cricket. Now, it was frustrating, wasn't it, the Afghanistan game? But I think more for the world of cricket, I think. You know, you've played a lot of cricket all around the world, a chance to play against Afghanistan. I think we've seen what they do in, what, in white ball cricket. Um, but it would have been, you know, a fantastic contest if you could have, have gotten a game. Plus, it would have given you a good you know, indication where you are going into what is going to be a tough series against Sri Lanka. Yeah, look, it's disappointing. I guess, you know, you want to play test cricket and you want to test yourself against the best. And, um, yeah, that's the nature of the game sometimes is there was a hell of a lot of rain. And um, also, I guess, with the, the conditions, it was probably more a rugby field than a, than a, a test match uh, <laughs> outfit by the end of those five days with the amount of rain they had. So, yeah, look, it's disappointing. It's something that's out of our control. And um, just looking forward now to taking on Sri Lanka. Well, if it was a rugby field, you'd have been better equipped than some of your teammates. Actually, well, a few of the boys back themselves. So, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about Greater Noida. Um, I've been to India many, many times. I've never even heard of it. Um, so presumably the the five days you had some chance to do some sightseeing, did you? Uh look, I, I think you know as well as as us that once when you're in India, you you spend a lot of time in your hotels. Um, but we were lucky to. The food was brilliant at the hotel, so we tested out a lot of the menu, having five days sitting sitting around watching it rain. So um, <coughs> a few of the boys played some golf as well, which is always nice to get out of the hotel. But um, yeah, well, obviously you're sitting there hoping that you can get on each day and then and then you're sort of waiting around. And once a day gets called off, you can, as you know, as a batsman, you kind of can actually relax because you're sort of preparing the whole time that you might play. So. And, you know, the Sri Lankan series coming up, you've got England straight after that, like Matt has mentioned. You've also, I mean, you must have seen Sri Lanka play against England um, in the recent uh, in the recent series. Yeah, they lost um, 2-1, but, I mean, you know, these guys put up a, a fight and what you're expecting from Sri Lanka, because it's they're on different conditions, um, they're more favourable from them at home, but they've, uh, they've got a very, very good side you're going to come up against this week. Yeah, look, especially here in Gaul, you know, the wicket's traditionally very slow and, and can turn, which will, will suit their bowlers. Um, but, yeah, I watched a lot of that test series against England in the last month. And, um, yeah, Sri Lanka in their own country is very challenging. Um, they've got some batters who know how to score big runs and, and they've got some bowlers who are very consistent and build pressure over long periods of time. So for us it's, as Kiwis, it's just making sure we stick true to who we are. And, and that's, I guess, that sort of fighting Kiwi mentality, trying to, do all the little things that um, we pride ourselves on and um, hopefully we'll do that for long periods of time and, and hopefully win sessions, which means we win test matches. I read a very interesting article recently about uh, you talking about working on your skills against playing spin. Um, you've got five test matches in which you're probably going to come up against a lot of, of spin. Um, are you are you moving towards being a, a specialist batsman now? Are you still bowling? Still want to keep bowling? No, I still had a bowl today in the nets, and I was off this. There's a lot of sweat dripping off this shiny head. So, look, I I love bowling. I'm I'm a competitor at heart. That's what drives me. So, to be able to both bat and then offer overs uh, when I can is it keeps me in the game. It keeps me competitive. And although my roles, I guess, very different out here on on these type of surfaces to what it is back home, it's it's about for me getting stuck into that contest and doing a job for the team. And Daryl, we're looking at New Zealand cricket. It's more often than not, playing two match series, um, you've got a chance of you know a couple coming around the corner of three match series. I know last year when was the last year the year before when we were out there, um, we seen you um, actually me and Man have seen you in a supermarket with uh, trying to sort of rally the kids around getting getting tea. We knew we know exactly what that feels like. So um, we we had sympathy. We had a lot of sympathy. We were there and it was gigged as much space as possibly can when the kids are involved. Um, but. You know, we we were there. We seen the two match series. It would have been great for a third one off after what happened in in Wellington. Is it good now that you are playing three match series? Yeah, look, I, I think that's firstly, I guess, the nature of of how this team's gone over the last decade and a half or so. You know, to be able to compete with the world's best and 
and for us to have you know, won World Test Championships and been number one at periods of time that hopefully we deserve to, to get these longer series. You know, we played England in a three-match test series a few years ago and, and for me that's awesome to be able to, I guess, the ebbs and flows of a series and understand how guys are bowling you at different times and um, yeah, it's cool. This is why you play test cricket to test yourself against the best and it's not always your day but hopefully you can keep contributing and you have more good days than not. You're in Gaul at the moment, um, and you've uh, so you've got a couple of weeks in Sri Lanka. Then on to India. I wanted to ask you about uh, your relationship with with India in particular, um, the subcontinent um, in general, I suppose. But 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 being an IPL star now with the Chennai Super Kings uh, is is India becoming very very familiar? Or do you have a, a certain affection for it? <laughs> yeah, look, we we've, I've spent a lot of time in India over the last twelve months, especially and. Look, I just love how much they love cricket. Um, you know, the passion that they have for it. And um, when you, every time you go there, it's, it's different challenges, whether it be IPL and, and the, the beast that is IPL, how fast the game happens, how, um, as a batsman, how aggressive you've got to be in, the, in that tournament. Uh, but also uh, test cricket in that part of the world is, is very challenging, especially for us as Kiwis, which we brought up on some pretty green and bouncy wickets. So... Um, yeah, look, I, I love the food, I, I love the place, and um, yeah, I always enjoy going to India. Oh, talk to me about the the sort of, I mean, the landscape of, you're an experienced player, the landscape of of, of cricket, you know, red ball, white ball, I know it's maybe the one for above, above your peer grade, but New Zealand seem to be one of the, the sort of more progressive cricket boards where they try and allow their players to play around the world. I think a lot of fan, financial reasons for that. Um, you've seen a lot of New Zealand players turn down central contracts. Um, how important is it from a player's point of view that the administrators get the schedules right with the amount of franchise leagues comes up? Because you mentioned there, Test cricket is, for me, is, it is still the pinnacle. And I'm sure you'll, you'll, you'll agree with that. But how important it yeah, is look, it the administrators get it right? Yeah, look, it's it's definitely above my pay grade. But uh, yeah, for me, look, I, I debuted international cricket a bit later than most people. And, and for me, I'm very grateful for every chance I get to play for New Zealand. It, it means a hell of a lot having, I guess, known how long it took to get here. So um, everyone's in different circumstances in life, whether it be kids, family, amount of time they spend away playing. So everyone, I guess, makes their own decisions around that central contracting and franchise stuff and and balancing between playing international cricket and that. And um, I think the cool thing that I've seen so far is New Zealand cricket's allowed it to be flexible and, and allowed, I guess, each individual to, to hopefully get the, what they want out of the game as well as uh, represent New Zealand as much as they can. Just finally for me, Daryl, um, on that subject of uh, making your debut a, a bit later, very few cricketers are ready for international cricket when they're selected at sort of 20 um, uh, you were 27, weren't you, when when you when you were selected? Uh, do you think you've benefited from that? And and is there, do you have a certain sympathy for when you say a youngster being selected for his country? Yeah, look, I I, I think in many ways it was, it was a blessing for me to be able to debut a little, a little bit later. And although when you're young, you're in a rush and you want to achieve the dreams that you want to achieve in this game, to be able to learn my game at the domestic level for a period of time and, and have some good years and some bad years and and work out, I guess, not only what kind of cricketer I want to be, but also once you get married and have kids, as you said, in the supermarket, you probably understand what kind of person you want to be offered as well. And it's brought a good perspective and balance in my life and then allows me to go play cricket um, with a smile on my face and, and to get stuck into the contest. And Daryl, just, just finally for me, England are around the corner. Me and Manners are coming over. We'll, if we see you in a bar rather than a supermarket, we'll definitely buy you a beer. Um, well, if we see you in a supermarket, we'll let you, you know, have five minutes for your children. Um, we don't want to get involved in that. But England coming over, it's going to be, I mean, a great series. Um, how much are you looking forward to that? Because the way England have played um, and the new forward thinking, you know, structure under under Brendan McCollum, um, they're always exciting games when you come play England because there's always going to be a great contest. Yeah, look, I think for us, it's, it's always really cool when we play England. Um, when we tour England, we obviously the historic grounds and, and just the atmosphere that those grounds bring. But then also when, when you guys come over onto our shores down the bottom of the earth, the, the Barmy Army and, and all that all that aspect of, of playing England in your own country, it's um, yeah, it's seriously cool. And again, that's why you play test cricket is to take on the best and, and to have those sort of atmospheres. That's what that's what gets you going. And um, yeah, it should be a great series. 
Daryl Mitchell, many, many thanks for your time. It's uh, greatly appreciated. Very best of luck in Sri Lanka. We'll be watching closely. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.